welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make your homemade loaf of bread. And this is really easy. This bread is really good for sandwich, french toast, or a toast. And you can probably use it for something else if you prefer it that way. But this is my son's favorite and I'm gonna show you how I make my loaf of bread. So my first step to making this soft bread is making something in the stove. So let's go to my stove and show you what it is. Okay, so here we are in my stove and I got flour, milk, and water so this method i'm using is helps my bread stay soft longer and it's very simple and before you use them you have to let it cool a few minutes before you add them into your dough actually this method is similar to making your gravy it's kind of crazy but it works for me so how do you know it's going to get thicker it's usually start in the bottom of the pan and when you know it's going to get thicker because they start to look like that and you just keep stirring it don't let it sit in the bottom because if you do that it's gonna burn it's gonna go quickly now because our pan got hotter so I kind of lift up the side of it and keep stirring it okay so we are done okay so see how just kind of thick a little bit but not too thick don't keep it cooking because if you do this is gonna get really gooey so we just want a little bit of thickness just like that now we're gonna let this sit for a few minutes and to cool down we are going to put together all our ingredients now since we make the first step of how I make the bread soft. Okay, so we got flour and I have here a mix of liquid which is sugar, milk and yeast. So we're going to put our liquid in there and I have egg yolk and egg gluten flour, salt, then and I'm going to add flour. There you go. Okay, we're just gonna yep. incorporate them with the spatula and then we're gonna knead it. So, we do. I'm going to add butter. It's been softened. Sure. I'm just gonna fold in the butter. Okay, we're going to transfer this in the counter and we're going to knead it. Just fold it just like that. And we're going to put it back in our bowl. We're going to let this rest and let it rise until double about probably an hour so we're gonna put this back into our bowl all right and then we're gonna cover it with plastic and we're gonna use a plastic bag to keep the heat in this will make the dough rise faster all right our bread dough is now got doubled so here we go and now we get to knead it, see? So we are going to put some flour on our counter here. And I'm gonna dump this in here. All right, so I'm just gonna fold it and knead this for a few minutes. So here we go, guys. So, I'm going to divide this to two, alright, make sure they're the same size, 
think that's about right. There. So we're gonna let this sit for another couple minutes before we transfer them in our loaf pan. I have two of this loaf pan and we're going to grease it. I'm going to use canola oil spray. If you want to use melted butter and brush it all over, you do, you do that too if you want. Okay? Since I have the canola here, I'm just going to spray it. Grease it so they won't stick when we take them out. It's been a few minutes. Now I'm going to divide this into three, okay? Okay, so we're just gonna roll that. Okay, we fold and do it again. Fold. And do it one more time. Okay, and then we're gonna start folding them just like a lot like that. Alright, and then we're gonna set them up here like that. And we do all this process until we fill them up both of the loaf pan, okay? And we're going to cover this up until the dough double and should be all the way on top, okay? So our bread has now got double and it's been over an hour. That's how it looks like after sitting for about an hour okay so since the weather is a little bit warmer the bread rises faster now I'm going to brush it with egg beaten egg on top and I preheated my oven for 375 and it's gonna go in there for 20 minutes and we're going to check it in 20 minutes okay so it's ready to go in the oven Bread ready to take out in the pan. It's been cooling down for about mm -hmm. minutes, and I'm going to show you how to take it out. These breads usually stack on the top, all right, around. So get one of these tiny spatula. If you don't have one of these, just use a really thin knife and kind of go to loosen up the edge first, and then you dig in and kind of just run through your knife or spatula all the way on the side and go to the other side do the same thing all right and just be careful not to poke your bread and make a hole on it okay so you just go around and then go on this side all right and go around the side and go back on the side and kind of lift it up a little just to loosen the bottom. So lift it up a little and then go on the other side and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so lift it up and lift it up and here we go. Voila! All right, so here you go guys. If you are a fan of that bread that you want to use to, especially sandwiches, this is it. Alright guys, it's very, very soft. And you can slice them and you can freeze them. So, we're going to slice it and I'm going to show you, alright? And I have a slicer that I use and that really make it easy, but you can also use bread knife to slice your bread okay so I have this slicer that I use for everything I use to cut my meat lunch meat and my bread as well so I'm going to show you 
what it looks like on the bread. And we're going to slice some. Here we go. I cut the bread and look at this this is so pillowy I mean it's better than the one you buy the method that I used to make my bread it's amazing so now you know how to make it guys there you have it so white sliced bread give it a try and let me know how it turns out so that's our project for today Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.